I, I, I've, I've never killed anyone. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really? You come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Berto, no. <laughs> he was a mutiny. <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. 
I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Oh, God. He's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? That man was tied up. Defenseless. He talked about my kids. So you killed him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. I should have killed Randall myself. You already killed Zachary for what he did to Greg. Do you really want to keep going down this road? That's for me to decide. Ugh. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet and you want me to calm down? I... I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. Pick you don't know. Sean. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. Calm the fuck down. You should change your fucking tone. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michelle needs Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too, Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry, they're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us.
She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. This better work. It will, I think. It's risky. Even if it does work, then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? Sam! Sam, what the hell are you doing? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. We're going to give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking that... My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. J 
just... Careful. You don't want to shoot yourself. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Just keep your head down. Stay safe. I'm not afraid. I didn't say you were. Sometimes the brave thing is not to fight. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta... I mean... The things he said... The way he was laughing about dad... Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Don't forget what I told you. If things go bad, keep out of sight. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Is that music? You doing okay in here? I bet that was scary before when I brought your sister in like that. But she's okay now. Nothing can hurt me in here. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. Wendigo.
Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring your brother home. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? He did, didn't he? No. Your brother didn't become one of them. Greg is still Greg. Is that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to die and change into one too? No. I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. <sighs> Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Thanks for letting me see your fortress.